Using a book to grow your business is, in my opinion, one of the best and fastest ways to build revenue, build brand, and make a massive impact. And so I want to share with you how I was able to make $27,000 from a 15-minute speaking gig that was based entirely on my book. So I'm going to break it down and show you the step-by-step -step of what I did to turn a book into a speaking engagement to $27,000, okay? So the first thing, this might be obvious to you, but the first thing that I did in order to turn my book into a speaking engagement to get $27,000 from one 15-minute speaking gigs is I did this. I wrote my book. <laughs> I wrote my book. You have to have a book if you want to use your book to make money and to get speaking gigs. So the first thing that I did is I wrote a book. Now. What I did with this book was I made it very, very clear. The book that I wrote is called Big Idea to Best Seller. It is very clearly defined for who it's for and what the result is going to be. So this book is for founders, CEOs, entrepreneurs, thought leaders, executives, people who have experience, stories, knowledge, and they want to teach someone something. That's what this book is for. So a lot of executives and coaches and founders really gravitate towards this book. I made it very clear result, how to write a nonfiction book to grow your business and make an impact. That is the result of what happens by writing a book. So you read my book and you learn how to do that. And in this book, I made sure to include personal stories and also share success stories so people see that I'm legitimate at what it is that I'm talking about. So I wrote a really great book. First and foremost, you got to write a really great book. And then what I did is I used that book to build relationships with a variety of different people. People in my masterminds, I gave everyone a copy of my book. People that I meet online, I gave them copies of my book. And what I did was I really focused on developing my relationships. I found people that have a similar audience, a complementary audience, meaning that we may not compete with each other, but we all have the same audience who could be looking for both of our services. This is a really critical piece to this. Make sure that the person I built a relationship has similar vibes and those relationships started to develop. Okay. As I was developing those relationships, I made my ask and I made my ask known and my desires known that, hey, if you ever need a speaker to talk about writing a book, which is very niche, I'm your guy. Let me help you help your people. I can bring the heat, I can bring the energy, and I can really give them something that would be valuable for them. Okay, and so let's recap here. I wanna show the process step by step because you can do this. Okay, you can do this. Write a really great book, build relationships with people who have the audience you want, and then make your ask known. All right. That's the first step. If you do that, you're going to get way further than a majority of people who are trying to build relationships to grow their business. And so then what happened is I got invited to speak. Okay. I got invited to speak and I'm going to hone in on one particular avenue here. I've done this with a variety of different things, but I want to focus on this one 15 minute speaking gig that resulted in multiple five figures worth of revenue. And so after I made my ass known, I built these relationships. One of my newfound relationships, she invited me to speak. She invited me to speak at her free event that she was providing a ton of value heading into a launch. And it was amazing. That's so, so, so cool. And so I came on and I was like, you know what? I got to deliver. I got to crush it. And so I prepped and I made sure that I had good content, relatable stories. And I also wanted to make sure that I was going to really hype up my friend who brought me to here. So quick tip. For those of you that are going to be on a stage or those of you that are speaking at a mastermind or those of you who want to use your book to get on more podcasts, how can you edify the host? Not in a ass kissing way, but how can you edify your host and make your host look great while also still showing your expertise, right? This is really the part of your relationship when you are abundant because you know that there's enough space for you to hype them up and for you to hype yourself up by doing what you do. So then... I do the speaking engagement. It's a 15 minute speaking engagement. I do that. And what I do on that call is I over deliver the heck out of the expectation. What do I do? How do I do that specifically? I bring the energy. Okay. When you're on zoom versus in person, there's always a little bit less because you can't feel the room. You can't feel the energy. People are doing things in the background. So I always try to go three levels up from my in-person speaking personality and energy. So that way I really bring it so that everybody's like, what the heck is going on? This dude's on fire. So I brought the hype, I came in with the passion, and I made sure 
with a 15 minute speaking is not that long. So what I really wanted to make sure is that people who listened to me speak had some tangible and actionable advice that they could implement right after. I wanted them to believe writing a book to grow their business was possible. I wanted them to know how to use their book to enhance what they were in the masterclass for. Okay. And so that immediately following my speaking engagement, not only would they be able to take action on what I'm teaching, but how they could use that action to get even more value from my friend who's hosting this event. And so at the end of that, this is really, really important. At the end of that, I had a couple hundred people that I was speaking in front of and a couple hundred more that were probably on replays. And what I did, what I did with that was at the end, instead of trying to tell everyone, oh, you can buy my book on Amazon, I gave them the book entirely for free. Why would I do this? Well, I wanted to give them the entire book for free because I wanted to give them a ton of value. I wanted them to, I wanted to thank them for showing up and committing to better themselves. So I gave them my entire book for free with a link. Okay. They could text me or they can go to the link and sign up for a free copy of my book. Now, here's the thing that's, that's really important mindset wise to, to dissect here. A lot of people will maybe give a PDF here. Okay. That's valuable. That's great. That'll build your list but few people will actually give their entire book away. That's massive value. That's massive perceived value because people know how hard it is to write a book. People know how much book costs. So giving a one page, three page, five page PDF PDF doesn't have the same weight or value as giving somebody your book. Now, the other thing with me that's really important and how I view these things is I don't believe in gatekeeping. I'm not just gonna give you a chapter. I'm gonna give you the whole thing. Okay, I want you to have as much value as possible because my mission is to help people, right? And if I really believe in that, then I want to give you what I have so that you can actually get those results. And I wasn't worried about losing out on a couple hundred potential book sales. And if there were 200 people there and 30% of people would have bought my books, that would have been 60 people buying my book at $15 a pop. That would have been $1,000 on average, 900 to $1,000. Okay, now... I could have focused on that and try to get the quick sale, but I wanted to focus on the bigger goal, which is how do I use my book to grow my business and make an impact? Well, by giving it to everyone, I have a chance to impact more people than I would if I expected everybody to buy it. That's one. The second thing that is really important is I wanted to grow my audience. And I knew that if people got the free book, they were likely interested in, hmm, what could a book do for my business, right? What could a book do for my business? Cause that's what I teach on. And so once that happened, we had a huge conversion rate because it was such a valuable giveaway at the end of this. Okay. I think we did, when we look back at the data over 330 downloads in the first like 30 days, I think we did 200 in the first uh, 24 hours. So it was like a massive, massive taking. And then we had the, the follow up and the trickles for, for different various different replays. So now here's what happens. Okay. So I over delivered, I give my book and now I have people connecting with me. And so not only do I give them my book, but I invite them to connect with me. So now I have people flooding my LinkedIn request to connect with me on LinkedIn. I have hundreds of new people on my email list that I can connect with directly because I have their contact information. And I have, I have dozens of people in my text inbox for my community text list where I can mass text people and directly text people. And now I have all these different ways to further the conversation. So here's what I do is I start to get to know these people. Now, this is so, so, so important. People have expressed interest. Now that they've expressed interest, I know, well, I gotta find out, is this interest real? What is their book desires? What is their book timeline? Is this something they wanna do? Do they already have a book? Are they just starting a book? Are they just trying to see what type of book they could possibly write? I had to start getting to know them. So with everybody on LinkedIn, I started messaging them. With people with emails, I started directly messaging them. With the text messaging, I started directly texting them. The whole point of this was to start to understand and start to qualify these people to determine, can I help them? Do they want help? Are they writing a book? Are they writing a nonfiction book? Do they want to use a book to grow their business? Like what really is it? And if they weren't a good fit, I was referring people to other connections. 
Okay, if they were a good fit, I would take the next step, which is I would invite them to jump on the call with me or my team. All right, and this is where you narrow it down, okay? At this point, I'm inviting people to jump on the phone. We jump on the phone, they jump on with me or my team. And from there, we're able to sign people up who are interested in what we're doing, people who are reading my book, watching my videos, jumping on the phone with us. And we ended up signing on multiple clients from this experience. And what did that result in? That resulted in $27,000 just from doing a 15 minute speaking engagement based on my book. So to come full circle here, I wrote a great book. I use it to build my relationship. I use it to get the speaking gig. Then I use my book on the speaking gig to give it away for free to the audience, to grow my audience, to bring people who are qualified into my world. Then I invited them to jump on a phone with me. And then I showed them how they could write a book to grow their business. So I used my book in so many ways in this process, the same book. And I just kept using it each different phase for the different type of people, the partners, the prospects, the opportunities. And All of a sudden there, we had $27,000 from those experiences. So when people say, can a book really grow my business? Absolutely. And when people say, is it worth my time to write a book? I say it's better than anything. I actually say it saves you time because once you write the book, you can use that book and turn that into massive opportunity. All right. So there you have it. That's how I... made $27,000 from a 15 minute speaking engagement that was based on my book. Now, the coolest part about this is that you can do this too. This isn't something that only I know how to do. This is something that once you write a great book, I can show you how to do it, or you can learn how to do this so that you could turn your book into thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and millions of dollars in revenue while also making a massive, massive impact. Because here's the thing, if you didn't catch it, There were hundreds of people that grabbed my book. So not only did I make this money, but now I have my book in hundreds of people's hands. That's hundreds of lives that have the chance to be impacted. Then those people who could refer me to other people because the book is good. And this is how you build the snowball effect, okay? But it starts by writing a book. So if you want to learn how to write this book, I have a step-by-step roadmap, which is my book, Big Idea 2 Bestseller. And I wanna give that to you for free right now. So if you want to get a free copy of my book, text me the word free to 661-669-7363. That's text the word free to 661-669-7363. I hope that you get a ton of value out of this. And I hope that this makes you start to think about a book might be the best thing that I can do to grow my business. A book might be the best way to invest my time because I can use it in so many different ways. So there you have it. Let's rock, let's roll, and let's go.